and this is one of the areas we find most promising in the years ahead. Uh, so, uh, um, best luck to all the contestants. Our first presenter will be Steve Lebeshack from Asius Technologies. As a teenager in the 70s, Stephen Ambrose was in a recording studio, one room over from Johnny Cash, and he had the opportunity to hear Johnny through those headphones. He discovered how to convert sound into usable energy, he convert sound into air pressure. And our first product, we take that air pressure and we inflate a tiny balloon-like bubble in your ear canal. And that can be connected to an earbud or hearing aid or even hearing protection. And what we're able to do with that is kind of eliminate the risk of hearing loss that comes with traditional earbuds and also sounds a lot better. Biofeed vision is to eliminate the use of spray pesticides anywhere. We've harnessed the power of attractants. Well, up until Biofeed came on the scene, the use of attractants in agriculture is extremely minimal because everyone knows that they can work, but nobody really knows how to harness them and make them last long enough to make it an economically feasible solution. And this is exactly what Nimrod and his team did. My name is Vera Grunash, and I'm the founder of Electric Field. And uh, finding reliable energy source to charge your electric vehicle if you're a renter is hard to come by. The sale of electric vehicles are not keeping up with infrastructure. So I decided to build something that couples with infrastructure. So it's a portable solar charger, which also stores energy. So feedback solutions are for the 500 million people in the U.S. and 5 billion people around the world who participate in one or more of these activities. We are an automated coaching company. We are building apps that will take a motion, will video a motion, and then turn it into actionable instruction. We have our first product out there which will video the golf swing, um, and it's all voice activated, so it doesn't give you the instruction yet. We learned a lot getting that product out, and now we're just excited to be able to continue to grow the company and accomplish like this will help us do it. Hi, I'm Darren Feely. I'm the CEO of GeoPay. We're a mobile commerce company located here in the DC market. GeoPay is a, it's a platform that works with mobile operators, banks, and financial institutions and merchants in emerging markets to provide solutions for the underbanked. We're serving really the base of the pyramid in frontier markets where people don't have financial infrastructure in place where they can't necessarily use a credit card or a debit card to pay for things because they don't have it. They're cash-based economies. So we've developed a platform where people can load up cash and do things in the digital space. Hi everyone, my name is Scott Bauer and I developed Onu, a magnetic mobile accessory. And I'd like to start by telling you why. Onu is, uh, it came about because uh, I'm always checking my phone whether I'm running or riding my bike and how do you keep your phone accessible. So the market's only solution is these armbands. They're bulky and uncomfortable. They trap your phone to your arm and we allow accessibility, so you can pull it right on and off anytime you want. It's just a magnetic mobile accessory that clips on and clips right off. Um, yeah, so it stays on for any activity. Uh, your hardest runs, bikes, lifting weights, perfect for anything. So we believe our breakthrough solar air conditioning system will improve more than one billion people's living condition. Yeah, I'm Mike Lee. Um, I'm CEO and founder of Solar Engineering Solution. Solar thermal air conditioning can save up to 95% of the energy uses for, for the cooling, space heating, and hot water. So we came up with a really simple idea. If we could tell whether the container, whether it's a propane container or a trash container, whether it's full or if it's empty, we could reduce their logistics costs by up to 40%. I'm Jim Bland with Snap Data, uh, and we manufacture sensors as well as an analytics platform to collect data on inventory levels, essentially. So very few companies manufacture both hardware and do software development. So we, we have a team of hardware engineers as well as a team of data scientists and programmers. So we can we uh, run all the way from collection of the data to the analysis of the data to route planning for the companies that are using it. Um, and very few companies are doing that. We're solving the process. We're making it efficient so that it's more profitable. We're making it sustainable so that companies can save the planet instead of ruin the planet. And we're also making it scalable so that you can make the product faster than the other products that are currently on the market. We use plastic as our outsole, not rubber. This allows us to do way more in way less time with a fraction of the cost. 
and plastic is the new rubber. Uh, soon it will be bioplastics, actually. But, uh, you know, that, that's just growing every five years. They make major strides in plastic. This AC Bridge competition gave me the chance to talk about Sakwa, the brand, and the technology, which most people just know about the brand. So this was just a chance to get in front of some new people to really share our passion for making shoes. We believe there's a threshold of pain in terms of IT services, and we think we have an answer with what we're calling Command IT or Command IT. Our solution is to be able to provide a quick button solution that enables you to be able to access our online portal, um, to be able to reach out to one of our certified partners to get the professional level IT services that we think we intend to deliver to the marketplace. TechRev was founded on January 2015 out of the, the growth of beta testing with small businesses. Our goal is to be able to bring to the masses IT level, professional level grade services that are of a higher quality of service and a better price than what exists in the marketplace today. The um, product that we're making is both a chest sensor and a ring sensor. So we're working with George Washington University on the ring sensor here, and we're also making a chest sensor, and it's to measure two things, blood pressure and to measure ECG. Hi, I'm Bobby Das, DAS, and the company is Sansource. We make sensors and apps and cloud computing. We try to bring it together so you know yourself. We're trying to measure you know, your heartbeat or your breathing or your temperature. So we're, uh, we're trying to find out when are you in good shape or bad shape. You know, But we're specifically trying to target real diseases like sleep apnea, arrhythmia, Asthma. I think that you know, for for us to be part of this and try to meet that. I mean, 1.2 billion people are there, you know, and they're looking for technology. They use technology as much as we do. So for us, it'd be great to see that bridge com combined between Arlington County and China. So we now conclude all 15 presentations. Let me introduce to you Mark Marangella, the uh, president, the founder, the partner for AC Bridge who's been very instrumental in uh, getting this competition uh, uh, launched off the ground, and also Arlington Economic Development's Executive Director, Victor Hoskins. So Victor, if you want to say anything. Yeah, I just want to take a moment and just thank Dow Ventures and ABC Bridge and um, Dongshan for allowing us to be part of this process. It, I thought it was fantastic. The companies were amazing. You're all winners, seriously. I mean, I, I was actually, I would invest in every one of your companies. I mean, seriously. Um, and, and I think that that is a testimony to how well this competition was run, and I, and I really do appreciate that. The third prize winner is Darren Feely of GeoPay. The second prize winner is ASIAS Technology, Steve Levin. The first place uh, winner is Jim Glenn, Snapdick. Congratulations. Thank you. What does this mean for your company? Um, it's a great it's a great opportunity for us to go overseas and showcase our product and our platform in China. Um, hopefully, gain new partners, um, perhaps investment. But very proud to represent the U.S. and going and doing that. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's this mean for your business? Well, it's a big step because we're uh, it's really a gateway into the Chinese market. I think for us, and uh, we do manufacture in China. We have an intermediary actually in Seattle that. Uh, has a company in China, so this will give us a direct entree actually into manufacturing. And we do have a prototyper in China that we do work with directly. So this will really give us uh, more of a direct entree into China, and it's a huge market for us too. So I'm really looking forward to just being able to interact with uh, the, the, the folks right there. We're just going to be able to meet with uh, on site there. So the big difference is we're going to have real prototypes and people will be able to try and experience what we're just talking about today. So. Congratulations. Thank you. What does this mean for your company? Uh, this is huge. I mean, we have been uh, sort of operating in stealth mode for, for months and months. So um, 
you know, it's good publicity and we get out there and um, uh, hopefully meet some great VCs in China. This is huge. I mean, the whole t it's, it's validation for the whole team. I mean, we have, we have 12 people that have put in a lot of time and quite frankly gotten paid very little to nothing. Um, so, and they've believed in it and they've stayed focused on, the, on what we were doing. And I, I think it's huge for the team. It's validation. That's great. Well, this is the first time we are uh, hosting this uh, global entrepreneurship competition in collaboration with the Dongsheng Science and Techno Technology Park in Zhongguancun and also Arlington Economic Development. Uh, it has been a, a great success. Uh, we are looking forward to uh, hosting uh, more of these uh, competitions in the coming years in collaboration with uh, Arlington Economic Development and Dongsheng Science and Technology Park so we can bring more uh, U.S.-based technology company to China and hopefully in the future we're also going to bring Chinese companies to the U.S. through competitions like this.